Right, welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use HM Miner to uh, generate association rules for a data set. So the data set we use as we call a cost topic. Okay, so that's a set of the courses uh, have been selected by different students or uh, customers in there. So uh, we, we try to find out uh, what uh, uh, weak cause is going to associate with uh, uh, weak causes. So basically, we try to see the relationship of the column data. Okay. So um, first of all, we're going to select the data. And then we're going to use the uh, association rule uh, function of HL minor right here. Click associate, association rule. So the data we selected right here representing the data set. Um, we have the first row containing the headers uh, because this one is representing uh, the metric form uh, one and zero uh, representing the uh, item uh, available or not available. So we have the data in binary format, right? So the parameter right here, we can uh, select or determine by the uh, data miner. Uh, if we have a um, want to determine if the rule we generated is going to be a, uh, a strong as mean um, representing by the data pattern or uh, just by chance so we can adjust this parameter so let's say i'm going to pick the number of support for the uh, representing number of transaction in the data set uh, at least equal can 10 and the minimum confidence can be 50 okay so let's see how many rules we have Right, so the algorithm have been uh, have, uh, run and uh, calculated based on the data set. So the uh, list of rule have been generated based on the and ranking based on the uh, leaf ratio right here. So leaf ratio basically comparing the uh, generated rules uh, with the uh, random thing. So basically uh, greater uh, uh, values to leaf ratio are uh, representing a, a more useful rule um, and uh, obviously the uh, mis minimum values of leaf ratio equal to one so you can see uh, look at the uh, first rule right here the confidence level uh, of this one gonna equal 62.5 percent um, this one saying that if data mining and regression have been selected the cat data uh, cost also selected. So uh, here uh, is so, so, so associated uh, between the uh, antecedents and consequent. Support for antecedent could be uh, 16 transaction. Support for the consequent could be 76 transaction. And support for both of them could be 10. That's the minimum value we uh, specified before. And so on the second rule saying that could be a 64 portion uh, uh, percent introduction and DOE selected uh, uh, software also selected with the support for antecedent 17 uh, support for consequent 81 transaction and the uh, for both of them gonna be a 11 and the leaf ratio gonna be 2.9 and so on okay now, so basically if you um, give the con uh, a confident uh, values small you can generate a, a, a more uh, association rule uh, basically uh, give us a chance to explore the rule maybe you can find that uh, a different rule uh, over here could be a more uh, relevant or um, use uh, uh, useful for the application you yeah, consider now, um, but uh, sometimes these are too many rules. Um, maybe gonna be take um, too much time to explore and uh, find out which one is useful. So in order to um, reduce the list of rules, we can uh, change the values of the confidence level. So let's say I can uh, still keep the uh, minimum support hand, but now I can uh, increase the uh, confidence level to 60%. So this one higher confidence level are basically gonna be reduce the list of rule there. Right, so now you can see that the risk rule are uh, reduced compared with the previous right here, uh, or more rules. But now the confidence uh, level could be a at least 60%. Okay. So we also ranking the uh, rule based on the leaf ratio right here. So the first rule basically could be a uh, the same as before. Um, 60.62.5 uh, uh, confident 
um, uh, data mining and reg uh, regression uh, have been selected, then the consequent can be cut data um, and uh, so on. So some other way here. So um, this one basically um, the the um, set of rules have been generated based on the parameter we um, specified before. So um, as a data miners, we can um, uh, explore uh, the uh, parameter by changing the uh, support values by the confident value and we can uh, detect some rules that may be useful for specific application. Right, I think that's it for uh, this video and uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.